Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey, Museum and Memorial. People often ask how we avoid getting lost on the ship, and the answer is some days we don't. So we've done other videos where we talk about bullseyes and all the labels and things around the ship that tell you where you are, uh, but today we're going to talk about some of the tips and tricks we use to not get lost. I started working on board in the middle of the winter, uh, New Year's 2018, and uh, the, everybody else was still on Christmas vacation, so I had the run of the ship to myself and no idea where anything was. I had spent nearly 12 years working on ships up to that point, so I vaguely knew my way around and knew what I was looking at when I saw it, uh, and yet, it still took months for me to figure out where the various things were throughout the ship's 1,100 compartments. Uh, so how did I ever find my way, and how did a new sailor fresh off of some other ship do it? The short answer to that is you don't need to know where everything is. Uh, for the curator, it's pretty important to get there eventually. As a sailor on the ship, you only work for one division, so there are a very small number of places you need to go. You need to know where your birthing spot is. You need to go. Need to know where the bathroom for that birthing spot is, uh, and you need to know where cruise mess is, and then where your various duty stations are. What spaces is your division responsible for? What's your general quarters space, and and where do you go during uh, other specific instances like general quarters, like special sea detail, and all that stuff. Uh, and and so it ends up being a relatively small number of places that you need to find out early on. And so uh, you pretty much learn your way along certain decks of the ship via landmarks. On the battleship, round structures like this one behind me make an excellent landmark. Those are the barbettes for the 16-inch turrets. And uh, I know that my office is not too far from the barbette for turret number two, and I know that it's on the left side of the ship, the port side. So becomes pretty easy to start walking and uh, find that. And all of the uh, barbettes look a little bit different. So it's pretty easy to tell if I'm looking at barbette number one, number two, or number three, uh, to be able to figure out, oh, I'm at the front of the ship or the back of the ship. I've got to walk through a bunch of empty space to get to my office, or I've got to walk past another barbette to get there. It's also good to know how ships are laid out. Inside the armored part of the ship, uh, spaces are pretty well connected. There are a ton of decks that are either circles or straight lines down the middle. So second deck, for example, forms a circle with offices on the outside of that circle and other spaces on the inside of that circle. Uh, and, and so you just keep going in that loop and there aren't a whole lot of places to deviate from that loop and get lost. Broadway, on the other hand, on third deck, is a straight shot from one end to the other. And there are little passageways going off of each one that'll lead to uh, some magazines or some AFFF mixing stations or you know other workshops and rooms like that. But again, you're not actually going through the warren that it may feel like to get there. Outside of the armored citadel, the ship is uh, a little bit more compartmentalized. There don't tend to be passageways between bulkheads on uh, below second deck. So from second deck, you can go most of the way forward and aft, but if you want to get down below, you've got to climb down a trunk to get to those spaces. And then if you need to get one space forward, you gotta climb all the way back up that trunk, go through bulkhead either on second deck or open deck on the main deck, and then climb through a hatch to get down another trunk to get to other spaces. So again, it, it's not like each space is accessible from a bunch of other spaces. Most do have multiple ways in and out, so that if one is blocked by damage or fire, emergency, stuff like that, there's, there's another way. However, uh, it, it's still pretty finite. So when I go and visit uh, strip trips, like we went and visited the aircraft carrier Kennedy at the Philadelphia Navy Yard my first year working here, her bullseyes were different from Battleship New Jersey's, I'd never been on a modified Kitty Hawk class aircraft carrier before, so it should have been easy to get lost. And yet, you know, the hangar deck's a big open deck. 
you get down below that and then that level is a circle much like on the battleship and you can't go too far likewise on the Perry class frigates their second deck is more or less a long passageway and there are some places where it becomes more of a circle but really much of it is a single passageway through the ship so you, you duck off of that passageway to go into a room and check it out and you come back out and now you're heading forward or aft it's pretty simple and so the key is landmarks from cruise mess you can access a ton of spaces most sailors know where that is from your berthing compartment you can access any of the uh, main passageways on the ship many other parts of the ship you just don't need to go to at all they're the purview of other divisions now as a visitor to the museum how do you keep from getting lost well that is laughably easy we've laid a tape line on the deck continuously from where you come on board to where you're supposed to leave so if you just stay on that line you can't possibly get lost do you have any tips or tricks for not getting lost on a new ship let us know in the comments section down below battleship new jersey receives operating support from the new jersey department of state and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves we really appreciate the support you guys have given us in the past if you'd like to continue supporting us there's a link in the description below for ways you can donate to the museum you can also support the museum by liking sharing and subscribing this video and others so more people find out about us thanks for watching